Matt Roloff appears to have a whole lot of explaining to do. That also to several members of his once close-knit family as we see them on Little People Big World. As per previous reports, the father of four put 16 acres of his farm up for sale just a few weeks ago, announcing this choice on Instagram and writing toward the end of his caption that it's finally time for him to move on and head toward the next season of his life. This was Matt's decision to make, considering he bought ex-wife Amy away from the farm completely in 2019. Throughout the years, however, there have been rumors circulating about the popular tourist destination being given down to either Matt's twin Jeremy or his son Zach. Shortly after he came out and revealed plans to sell some of the lot, Matt justified his thinking a bit, writing that his twin boys chose not to do so and were actually considering working together toward a possible joint sale. Today, we're going to be telling you guys about Audrey's reaction to not getting the farm, as well as other times she's found herself in the center of some controversy. Hello everyone, welcome to Celebverse. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update about the latest celebrity news and gossip. Let's get started. Matt also said that the kids had moved on to different interests and investments and even rejected a major family discount to buy the farm. In a truly amazing clapback, Zach Roloff tagged his father in a comment and completely trashed the guy, saying that he has once again not taken responsibility for his actions and put the blame on others instead, the way he's done his whole life. He also blamed him for creating drama and then making himself look like the good guy in front of fans. He even said that the post was an all-time low for him and his dad was only concerned with personal gain. So that was Zach's answer to Matt wanting to sell the property to someone not in his family. Now let's see what Matt's daughter-in-law had to say. When asked if she and her husband ever thought of purchasing the farm, Audrey Roloff replied on June 1st and told us that they did attempt to do that in 2020 and they only shared what they felt alright sharing with the public in a podcast episode. Yeah, so she's also clearly not happy over how things transpired. She continued to say that Jeremy and herself had wanted to take over his parents' farm, or at least some of it, ever since he was little and he was also brought up to believe that it was a possibility. It was no secret either, he had made it very known publicly to his family and on TV. When they got married, it turned into a mutual dream of theirs and they had started taking steps to ensure that they're ready when the day finally arrives. After Zach's shocking attack against his dad, Amy Roloff also spoke out and put the blame on Matt for sparking such controversy. She said that she believes nothing comes for free and this thing has a big cost. She was referring to the way Matt dealt with things with his kids as possible vendors. She went on to say that she feels bad for her kids since something they were promised isn't happening anymore. Audrey also reiterated that her and Jeremy's hope to take over the farm was never exactly a secret and they were pretty open about it during their run on Little People Big World until they left in July 2018, both in their book and on social media. Audrey wrote that when they had all finally reached a point where it was almost impossible, they were presented with an offer but it looks like it just wasn't meant to work out that way for them. After seeing how she and Jeremy had the plan of saving the farm, Audrey continued and said that they realized that her husband's family was not as keen on them owning the farm as they believed they were. Audrey has never seemed too close to her in-laws. We almost never see her posting any pictures with them on Instagram or anywhere else either. This is probably one of the reasons why. She did mention that things with her in-laws are never as simple as they appear. Audrey went on to say it was really tough for them to let go of the farm, explaining that they lived pretty much their whole lives there. She has a point. They not only fell in love and had their wedding there, they even helped run the business. She felt like that was home, considering how they did raise their children there. They tried to leave things on a positive side and tried to be optimistic about it, saying, The Lord has taught us so much through this death of a dream as we refer to it. It's brought an opportunity for so much growth along with new dreams and a new vision for the future that we are very excited about. Recently, however, Audrey was also put under fire for her disgusting comments over a mass shooting. Perhaps one day she'll learn that it really is alright to just be quiet sometimes and not have an opinion on everything, especially those things which you aren't super informed about either. This seems like an important point to remember considering her response to the recent massacre in Texas in which an armed 18-year-old shot 21 people, all of whom died in the town of Uvalde. This also included 19 elementary school students. Well, what exactly did she say? About 24 hours after the brutal incident, Audrey shared a meme that said that even in times of such tragedy, hope must not be lost. We should instead focus on the mercy that'll come in to fill the empty space left behind. What? We're just as confused as you. She wrote this in the book, A Liturgy for Grieving a National Tragedy. Many people didn't like that she said this. In the age of social media, many people are sick of messages that do nothing to address the reason behind such senseless acts of violence. Meaning, she didn't say one word about the increasing presence of automatic weapons in America. She was also called out for trying to take this insane attack in any sort of positive way. People on Reddit were enraged at this comment, calling her comments disrespectful and disgusting. 
One user claimed that to claim this level of loss as a void was just disgusting. They were clearly angry. Another user added that they hate the toxic positivity culture which has taken over the internet recently. They found it baffling that she could even think of trying to look at something like this in a positive way. Audrey has often received backlash for coming across as a person who's really out of touch with the world around her. She even garnered some backlash after a recent post she uploaded about a vacation to Hawaii. Audrey shared more than just family pictures while visiting Hawaii with Jeremy and their kids. She even took it upon herself to give recommendations on where she's been and which places she and Jeremy like spending time the most. It sounds like she's laying the way for those fans who want to follow in her footsteps, but realistically looking at it, how many actually can? Fans do, however, enjoy seeing snaps of their kids, three-year-old Ember, one-year-old Bode, and newborn Radley. Where Audrey incites backlash is in posts like the one where she offers to explain how Maui became a favorite vacation spot for them. Audrey went on to tell them that they've been there five times and try spending a few weeks there at least. Audrey then opened up to her fans, offering to tell them things like what a vacationer would need and where they would have to stay. But following the boastful declaration, instead of requests for vacation lists, she actually just got backlash. Going on vacation is something, but then reminding everyone how many times you've gone to the exact same expensive vacation spot is a little tacky. Someone on the internet pointed out that the average person can't take more than two weeks off at most. Another commenter added that this kind of vacation just can't be taken by people with actual jobs. We can definitely understand why many are annoyed when you consider the sort of economy we live in nowadays. Wage stagnation, two years of a deadly pandemic, and the increasing prices of everyday living, can you really blame people for being annoyed? For millions of average everyday fans who are regular people, even those with decent jobs, the luxury that Audrey and Jeremy have access to is a pie-in-the-sky dream. Not surprisingly, Audrey was roasted by her own brother-in-law two years ago after she participated in a social media blackout being held as a tribute in the summer of 2020 to the Black Lives Matter movement. Audrey wrote on her social media that she was trying to exercise active compassion shortly after George Floyd was killed by a police officer in Minnesota. Jacob, on the other hand, urged folks across the country to protest and to actually take planned action against systemic racism. He also didn't forget to push for police reform, too. He didn't exactly give Audrey's name, but we all know who the shade was directed at. What are your thoughts about the future of the farm? Do you agree with the backlash against Audrey? Let us know what you think in the comments section. Don't forget to like the video, and if you want to stay up to date on the latest celebrity news, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We will come again with more gossip and news. Until then, goodbye!